We're in Gibsons, BC, and what's happening today is the Keeps Chop. It's an inaugural race for small paddle boats. So OC1s, OC2s, and we even are including some paddle boards and some kayakers and some canoes. There's a short course and a long course, and we're starting from the Gibson Sailing Dock. The long course will go around Keats Island, and the short course will go towards Grantham's and Tom's Point and back. I'm Manfred Hartman. I'm the race director of Keats Chop. Just the fact that we're uh, trying to resurrect the, the house on iron experience. So in 2018, that was the last time we hosted, and we had such a great experience, especially with the small boat. We had over 50 canoes out. We thought, let's continue this. And well, that was five years ago, and with COVID and everything, it's it's been a long time getting this ready, but uh, this is very exciting. We're really, really happy to be able to bring this to our community. We have some really, really accomplished paddlers. We have two world-class athletes. They've just come home from Samoa, where they have both won multiple medals in big canoes, OC6 and singles. So we're really, really fortunate to have a high quality of, of athletes. We even have a single rower in her shell doing the long course, which is amazing. We almost died. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. My first race, so I learned a lot, and it was lots of fun. Yeah, lots of fun. Sure, I had a good time. I felt pretty good. Uh, I knew where to go. I know the area, so it makes it a bit easier. We were racing in kayaks, two-seater strip kayaks. They're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Thank, you. Thank you. Leslie McDonald, right? Lower Gibson's right here. And, and Stuart from Lower Gibson's. Oh, it's great. Cool? It's good fun. Yeah. Been a while. I used to race a couple of races back when uh, Alpha Adventures had them in Porpoise Bay, but uh, it's been a while and uh, sort of just pulled it out of the hat today. And I haven't been paddling, but thought, can I still do it? But anyways, we did okay. You did awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it was nice and calm at the beginning. And then we got a lot of boat waves, a lot of slop to paddle through, but it was really good. All in all, it was so fun. Thank you to the Gibsons Paddle Club for putting it on. Hope we do it again next year.
rocks and they see me, they're all sitting on the rocks and then they see me coming past them. Yeah, <laughs> flop yeah, into the water. Yeah. Yeah, I was all alone at that point and just uh, you know, trying to play games, you know, like okay, <laughs> intervals, here we go, go hard. I think there should be a prize for the first place uh, without a South African accent. Okay. Because, <laughs> oh. uh, as you can tell, I would uh, hold that now. I'd be top three then. You'd be top three. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> it should be like South African accents and then non South African accents. Uh, Oliver and I'm from here in Gibson. This is my uh, local race. I was racing on uh, the sub today. I did the long course, yeah. yeah. How did that feel? 14 Tell me kilometers. About it. it was good. Uh, a headwind right in the last few kilometers was uh, was really tough. But, um, it was a really good race. Beautiful scenery. Did you see any wildlife? I did, yeah. There was uh, a big pot of seals around the other side of the island. Hi, my name is Christo Bravalny. I'm from Vancouver and just finished the Keats Chop. Awesome course. I can imagine with a little more wind, it would just be an amazing downwind run on the far side. See you next year. See you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi, how'd it go? Good. Good. Everybody Good. I think who went out came back alive. There you go. Which is the idea. Thanks. Oh, you know what, I gotta get a, okay. a truck. You came in first, and how did it feel? It felt good. It was an interesting race because I tried something different for a change, and because uh, it was just trying to see it as a fun race. So I just tried a different approach, and it was good. It was fun. Good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It's always fun racing. Now it's time for food. <laughs> How's it going in here? Good. It's good. <laughs> they had a pretty good turnout. There was uh, 40 people all together. 11 of them were in the short course, the rest in the long course. A lot of people who've never raced before in the short course, so it was a very interesting start. <laughs> well, you can tell us again who you are. Hi, I'm Leanne Stanley. I live in West Kelowna right now. Kelowna. Yes, we are currently on evacuation alert. Oh wow, and you made it to the race. Yeah, uh, I got back from the World Championships in Samoa on, on Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, to, you know, the fires in West Kelowna, and then, so I'm just like, I want to get out. <laughs> and I'm so excited that Gibsons has a race again, and like, I love this community and come here to coach before I've raced here lots in the past, and so it's so exciting that we've got another race here, and so I wanted to do everything I could to try and get here to support them. So I'm jet lagged, my concussion is going crazy, but I'm just so excited to be back. How did the sense. race feel? <laughs> was really hoping for a little bit more bump on the outside, but it's just so nice again to be back with people that I haven't seen in a while. And uh, yeah, it was hard work out there. Um, it was nice to have other canoes around. Um, we did a lot of wash riding practice, which was fun. Um, and working on some of those skills with people and talking people through that. Um, my body's still tired from last week. <laughs> so last week, tell us, in case people don't know how awesome you were. <laughs> so last week was the IVF International Federation uh, World Championships in Samoa. And so I was there representing Team Canada. I also helped um, coordinate and manage the team. And so we had 64 paddlers competing. It was a record year for Canada. We came home with five golds, two silvers, and four bronze. Um, this was the third distance championships that the IBF had held, and this, so this is the most medals that Canada's ever won. Um, personally, I was fourth in the 40s V1, um, and my 40s crew um, from Canada, we won. So, we are, uh, it was super exciting. We were one of the gold medals, and so that was, that was Friday last That's week. Awesome! And so, coming off that high, and so yeah, the body's, the body's pretty beat up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you! went well. <laughs> I hit a log and I hit a rock. Oh yeah. But otherwise very good. Yeah. It was good fun. Ian Bolden from Seashell. 
My name's Stu, uh, I live here in Gibsons, moved up here a couple of years ago from Vancouver and uh, yeah I mean we have great conditions up here normally, we get a lot of surf. Unfortunately today it was pretty flat uh, so it was a bit of a flat race around Keats but uh, quite often we get some big conditions up here which makes life a lot of fun. Then I welcome you to these lands of the Squamish people and in particular to you paddled today to the traditional waters that the Squamish people have paddled since time immemorial. <laughs> Thanks for this. Should I put your face in? I would. I would. <laughs> <laughs> 